Minshew Hospital bringing you this portion of the show, the Bears and the Cowboys. That's the noon game on Sunday, the early game. Those of you craving that Texans-Redskins game, that one is going to be a 3 o'clock start. So uh, fans of uh, Texas professional football, you got an opportunity to just kind of hunker down and see some good stuff. Then, of course, Sunday night, you got the uh, you got the Eli Manning versus Peyton Manning, Colts versus Giants game. We'll have that one for you here as part of our Sunday night football package. We've got three games for you. 380 yards of offense for the Cowboys, one touchdown in the opener against the Redskins. Now, the Chicago Bears in their opener against the Detroit Lions, which they won, they still had 100 yards in penalties. The Dallas Cowboys, 12 penalties committed against the Redskins. Everybody knows about the most costly one, which was Alex Barron nullifying that touchdown pass to Urban Lake. 12 penalties. I mean, see, it's one thing about execution, Rob, but what about discipline? See, that's the thing. Everybody's everybody's hammering on play calling and on Jason Garrett. That's fine. Who's responsible for the discipline of a football team, a football team that commits 12 penalties for over 100 yards? The the the, the guy that got that $50 million contract. Was Miles Austin called for anything? I don't honestly recall. You don't? He was called for what was the, what was the big Well, I was hoping because I feel like he still don't deserve it. False start, yeah. False start. See, oh, start. see you, you, there's no room for error when you got a $50 million deal. All right. I'm just going to be that way. But you're right. Discipline is a big, big factor in the game because when you don't have it and you, you, you get a great play and then it's called back because somebody, you know, Holding right. or, or face mask or hand to the face or whatever the you know the play is you know it, that that's not a coach thing. I mean it is, but it isn't. I mean they can't control what's going to happen on the field. They send in the play, you know the players got to execute the play, but the players got to have the discipline to sit in the um, in the stance until the ball is snapped or on the snap count. You know it's. To, to be it, fair, it's a big factor. Discipline be, is a big factor. To be fair to Alex Barron, he may not have to bear the brunt because Colombo's practicing, Kozier's practicing. They're both scheduled to start. Don't know how long. But see, game shape. We're I, already hearing about I Darrell would. Rivas not being in game shape. What kind of game shape can these guys well, be in? Well, but first off, uh, Alex Barron. I will uh, cut him. They came out yesterday and they said that this guy might might also still get some reps uh, because you don't know where Colombo's at and you don't want to risk not having Colombo down the stretch, which makes perfect sense. You brought this guy in for depth. He started right and left tackle. It looks like he's. Uh, I mean, I didn't think he played bad. I mean, we're we're talking about a guy who was taking on Brian Arakpo, one of the top five pass rushers in football right now. I don't. I don't. I mean, it's. It, what did we expect? I mean, from a guy who was a first round bust for the Rams. I mean, come on. Let's 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 just let's be reasonable here. Let's not let's not you know think that this was Flozell Adams in his prime or. I would, I would cut him. I mean, well, I don't, know if, I don't know. I don't know if you well, cut. Would, him. Where do you go? But when you cut a player what, like that, where do you would, go out and find another tackle? What, what would Jimmy Johnson have done? Well, first of all, Jimmy probably would have had a backup plan. Yeah, that's true. He would have had a backup plan. That's true. And, and then I don't even, I don't even Alex know. Barron. I don't even know if that guy would have even played for Jimmy. Well, you got to play somebody. They got you no gotta, depth. They you, got no depth at all. Yeah, you got to play somebody. You're right, but I'm I'm sure. I mean, man, that guy looked like there was no, what is the word I'm looking for, remorse? Yeah, for the penalty? Yeah. Let me well, ask you this, though. You played in, on several different teams. When you went to various teams, when you went to St. Louis, when you went to Washington, when you went to Miami, you cannot tell me that they had the same depth that y'all had in those early 90s, Robert, when y'all won three Super Bowls. The point I'm making is those teams y'all had were just talented, and, and that makes everybody around you better. Not only did y'all play well together, but you were talented. And I just don't think the Cowboys have that at their disposal right now. They don't. I don't know, man. Just two of the teams I played on had the same coach, Jimmy Johnson. Yeah. Let's see if we can sneak a comment from Richard here before we run out of time in the Jones Zone. Richard, good morning. 